Hi guys, welcome to today's video. I hope you're all well. Thank you so much for joining me. So today I'm talking about a brand that I am using for the first time. It is, of course, as you can see by the title, Too Faced, which have um, just launched into Boots. So I picked up the Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Concealer. Uh, that review should be up by now, so I will link it up here if I can. If not, you can just go onto my channel and you'll be able to find it there. But I also picked up the Natural Face Palette. Um, the reviews for this are really, really good. And I just thought it looked beautiful and I felt like I didn't have anything really like it. So I picked it up. Um, just to tell you, I have been using this a lot. It was something I just really, really wanted to try. And I had so much other new stuff I hadn't used. And I was like, oh, okay, I can use one thing. So I have used it, but I just wanted to show you on a camera today, show you some swatches show you how it performs and why I think it's so good. So this is what it looks like. Beautiful packaging. I mean, it couldn't be more beautiful than that. Even the back of it, everything is thought out. It has this literally lace inside it. Um, and then you have a little clasp here where you open it. And then nice big mirror. And then you have two blushes, two highlights and two bronzers. Um, I have been using this, so you might be able to see it there, but the bronzer in particular, you can see that I've been using that quite a bit. I also featured this on a Instagram video if you want to go over to my page and check that out. So it cost me 42 euro, which obviously is a little bit up there in price, but Too Faced is a high-end brand um, and I was happy to pay it because you kind of get six products in it and I just thought the packaging was so beautiful. Um, they're... The pans are small enough, but to be honest, they're so highly pigmented, you don't need to use a lot. So at the top there we have Sunny Honey, which is a bronzer for, I would say, fair to light skin. Underneath we have Tropic Like It's Hot, which is darker. This has a bit of shimmer in it, so I haven't really used that as much, but it is beautiful as well. This is Pink Wink, um, which is a beautiful bright pink blusher. Then we have Pink Sand, which is like a mauve -y, kind of, um, it's like a mauve kind of blush. I love it. So I basically put that one on and then just pop pink wink in the very center of my cheek and I love how it looks. These are harder to show. These are the two highlights. That is Starlight just here. And then underneath we have Satin Sheets. So they're both quite duochrome-y. Um, satin Sheets is like a yellow and has a pink tone in it and this one is kind of the reverse. Now, when I put them on, to be honest, they're they're not kind of my what I would usually go for a highlighter. They're kind of either too yellow or too pink, but when you layer them on top of each other, they turn into a sort of a champagne shade, which is beautiful. And um, they're quite intense highlighters, probably not really for the faint-hearted, but as I said, if you layer them, they turn into a beautiful champagne, a very flattering kind of shade. So I'm going to try my best to show you most of them, if not all of them, on the face today. Right, sorry about that. If you notice I look a bit different, it's because I actually forgot I was supposed to be filming a new cream contour product first, and I only realized that halfway through doing those swatches. So I went and filmed that, and now I'm back now. So apologies for that, just a bit of a blip, but we'll soldier on. So I'm going to use Sunny Honey now, which has become the most used shade in the palette for me. I'm going to put that on a brush from Penny's called the Tapered Blush Brush number 116. Um, I'm using it for bronzer. I just really like the shape of it. So I'm going to dip in to Sunny Honey just here. Tap that off. I meant to say as well, it smells mm, like my mouth is after. It smells like vanilla chocolate like oh don't eat it because I don't think it's edible but it smells divine If you want to know what cream contour I have on, that video is probably going to be going up before this one. So you can go and check that out now. I will link that up here. 
see that there, blended so, oh, the taste of it is so good, blended really easily. Um, the other one, that Tropic, like it's hot, is slightly darker um, and it has a bit of shimmer in it. So I think I would rather use this when I am tanned. I removed my tan the other day, so I'm um, back to my pale self. So I think I will wait to use that to show you maybe even what it would look like on the collarbones with tan and I'd say it's beautiful. Um, so I'm gonna go into Pink Sand, which is that mauve blush there at the bottom. Tap that off. Honestly, it's so pretty. I feel like it should be on a dressing table, not hidden away, because it's so beautiful. I'm just pulling my blush back into where my bronzer is. I just think it looks more natural that way. I actually saw uh, Jeffree Star, he's not gonna see this, but uh, I saw him using kind of a blush shade in one of his recent videos as a bronzer. And of course it worked, it looked amazing on him. I, I, if I did that. Now I'm going to go into Pink Wink. I like to just tap that on the very apples of the cheek. It's extremely pigmented, as you can see there. It looks scary, but honestly, it blends it um, blends out really easily. Um, I love blush. I think I've said before. I think it's such an underrated product. And if I only had five minutes and I had to choose, you know, bronzer or blush, I would choose blush because I just think it makes your face look so alive. Um. Yeah, I went quite hard in the blush there, didn't I? I don't know, I think it works. I think it looks nice with the, the hairband and stuff. So I'm going to next use the um, two highlight shades because I want to show you what they look like layered on top of each other. Um, I'm not gonna use a setting spray at the moment because I'm testing out a primer and I want to kind of see how it fares without the kind of help of um, the longevity that a setting spray often provides. So I'm going to first go into satin sheets, that kind of, it's kind of like a duochrome kind of shade. I'm picking that up on my Morphe M510 brush, tapping it off. You'll see straight away, well I can taste that, thank god it tastes pleasant. Um, straight away it's yellow, it's very like yellow gold, which I'd say would look incredible on deeper skin tones, or like an olive skin tone. Um. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's just it leaves quite a cast on my skin because um, I'm fair. You can see that kind of yellow reflect there. It's, it's lovely, it's a beautiful highlight but it is not the right shade for me. And because of the price I pay for the palette, you can be damn sure I'm going to get every um, shade to work for me. So I'm going to go into Starlight then at the top, just over it with the same brush. Um, I'd read, I think I'd read somewhere that if you layer them, they look more champagne-y. I'd read on someone's blog. Sorry, I can't give credit because I can't remember who it was. It was just some blog I found online. This is the pinkier one. Um, I think I could probably get away with wearing the pinkier one on its own, not so much the yellow one. Well, my nose looks like Tin Man. Um, I'll show you in a second what that has done. It has made the colour change um, into a slightly more wearable colour for my skin tone. I didn't have a clue that they were gonna be kind of this colored -y and like duochrome when I got the palette. I think I'm a little, to be honest, if I'm just gonna speak candidly, um, I'm a little bit surprised because it says natural face palette. A natural face palette I imagine would have, number one, a less intense highlight. I mean, I'm not complaining, I love intense highlights, so it's fine. But someone else might get it and basically not get any use out of the shades because they feel they're too intense and the colour doesn't work. Um, so, I don't know, I think if they're really going for the natural vibe, they should have put in 
highlighters that are less intense but also um just not like bright yellow or bright pink um but look they do work i'll show you now what that did so it's not as yellow do you see that it looks more kind of slightly um i don't want to say like white but it does look slightly different tone and is much more wearable it is a beautiful beautiful palette um so the only shade I really can't use is that one unless I'm tanned. I tried to use that as a bronzer and it came up kind of red on my skin. Um, so I think the best way for me to use it is when I'm really tanned and I can use it kind of around here, I would say, um, because it is like, like that. It's so soft. Sorry, the, I picked the bold finger. It's a beautiful color. If I just do it even there. It's it's so creamy and soft. If you get a chance to swatch these and try them, do. Um, needless to say, um, it has made me really want to try other Too Faced products, for sure. So that's it for now, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you would like, you can comment down below. Uh, let me know what you think. Have you picked it up? Are you interested in it? Are you as excited uh, as I am about the fact that Boots is bringing all these amazing brands um, to our doors essentially because they're a majority of them are online I believe um and if you haven't already please do subscribe if you'd like to see more from me it really helps me out also if you don't want to miss any of my upcoming uploads you can click the notification bell down below and you'll be notified every time I post a new video um that's it um follow me over on my instagram if you'd like to see more I do some reviews and I try to be um, as consistent as I can with putting up stories and that kind of thing and I also do updates of products I've tried over here on my YouTube channel I would do updates of those over there so please do follow me on there and come and say hi um, on my DMs I always love to chat um, that's it for now I hope to see you next time thank you so much for watching bye guys